Fred, I'm going to have to go through this one real quick as I'm running out of time tonight. My last video for tonight <clears throat> for my 70s YouTube channel. Oh, gosh, I've got to get the date of this uh, Billboard's Hot, Hot 100. Bear with me, I'm starting cold on this. I just had my snack. The week of June 19th, 1971, Billboard's Hot 100. Let me read you the top five hits that week on Billboard's Hot 100. Once again, the week of June 19th, 1971. It Don't Come Easy by Ringo Starr at number five. Brown Sugar by the Rolling Stones at number four. One as a former number one by the Honeycombs at number three. And Rainy Days and Mondays, Carpenters at number two. Carol King from Tapestry. I feel the earth move and the A-side, it's too late at number one. All the way down to number 57 that week. A lost 45. It was an R&B hit, a moderate pop hit. It was by Chi-Chi and Peppy. Chi-Chi and Peppy. I know I'm in love. Bubblegum Soul. A young version of Peaches and Herb. Peppy was 14 year old Keith Moiling, the son of Sam Cooke, legendary Sam Cooke. Chi Chi was 12 year old Dottie Moore. And they released their debut album, came out with their debut album in 1972. They covered some 50s and early 60s tunes on this thing. Clyde, Mac Clyde McFadder's A Lover's Question, they covered that. Also, This Magic Moment by the Drifters, they covered it. And then they, they didn't release another album until 10 years later in 1981. The album that they released in 81 was called Super You. But by then, Peppy was no longer Keith Boiling. It was Charles Campbell instead. The song, I Know I'm In Love, went to number 12 R&B. It got as high as number 49 on Billboard's Hot 100. That's it. But Jet Magazine placed it at number 6 on the, on the Soul Brothers Top 20 listing listings. God, the Soul Brothers, I remember that so vividly. This is so late 60s and early 70s right there. I remember the afros. They were so cool. I still miss those things. The afros and the long sideburns. Jesse Jackson used to wear one of those things. It was really cool back in the day. Number six on the Soul Brothers Top 20 listings, according to Jet Magazine. And uh, that was the issue, Jet Magazine's issue of June 24th, 1971. They did perform on American Bandstand. Dick Clark put them on. The date they performed on American Bandstand, July 17th, 1971. God, got vivid memories of the summer of 1971. Although this song went to number 49 on Billboard's Hot 100, it was on the Hot 100 for an, for an impressive 14 weeks. This is Peppy and Chi Chi. I know I'm in love.